Well, the wrinkle cut tool is used to cut folds or wrinkles into the mesh. So to use it, first of all, I, I've gone to a, a split view and I've synchronized the two views. Uh, I'm going to work in the left view. In the right view, I have edges hidden and, and vertices hidden so I can see the results better. I'm also I'm working on a low resolution mesh and I'm subdividing it. So I engage wrinkle cut. And then you just cut like you would normally with the cut tool. Then you right click and then the wrinkle cut window will show up. Then you can change some settings. Um, the length it's basically you know the height of the wrinkle and thickness controls basically how sharp it is you can see in the panel how it changes as I change the values uh, you can have it subdivided if you want more detail and you can also change the edge sharpness or just mark that the, the main edge is, is hard. So if you're happy with how it looks, you'll click Apply. If not, you click Cancel and it'll get rid of it. Workflow wise, I'm suggesting that you keep your original mesh clean. So make a duplicate of it, then cut all your wrinkles into the duplicate. Then when you export both meshes, you would take them into a program like XNormal and then use the normal map when you uh, render out the model.